Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. In my last video, I showed you how we can do some simple grouping on a pandas data frame. And you might have noticed that when I loaded up my data, I'm going to load it up again here because it takes a few moments. When I loaded up my taxi data from New York City from January 2019, I had not just the trip distance, the passenger count, and the total amount, I also had the pick up date time. And I even forced that to be parsed as a date time. And that's great, except then I ignored it. We are going to ignore it no longer. We are going to use that date time. And I'm going to show you how you can group on date and time information. Now, first of all, it's really important that you parse that as a date. If you don't, then you're not going to be able to do any of the stuff I'm going to show you here. And you can always check that with df.dtypes. And we see indeed that the pickup date time is a date time 64. Great. We're in business. So what I can do is I can say df of tpath pickup date time. And then I can say .dt, and that dt accessor lets me grab date and time information from that column. So I can say, for example, .day, which day of the month was it? Or I can say .hour, which hour was it of the day? Or I can even do crazy stuff like is month end, and it'll tell me yes or no. Right? I can also, there's also stuff you can do pulling out through the dt accessor. It's amazing. It's amazing. So let's say... I want to know how you know far on average on average people traveled at each hour of the day. So how far do people go at 4 a.m. on average versus 5 a.m. versus 6 p.m.? So what I can do is I can say, you know, I'll create a new column hour. So I'll say df tpep pickup daytime dt dot hour. I'll say df of hour equals that. So now that I've created that new column, now I can group on it, right? I can just say df.groupby of hour, and then I can say dot mean, and that's going to give me the mean for each and every one of the columns. So I can, for example, get the mean passenger count, the mean trip distance, and the mean total amount. If I want to only get one of those, then I can specify them in square brackets. Oops, didn't want to do that. I can say here, uh, let's call it trip distance dot mean. So what am I doing? I'm saying let's group by the hour. So for every distinct value of the hour, you know, for every hour of the day, find the mean trip distance. And that's exactly what we do. And we get it here. And if I want to, I can even then sort them, right? Because it's a series. So I can do all my standard sorts of things. Haha. <laughs> dot sort values. And now we find out that the um the shortest distance people go on average is at 11 a.m. And the longest distance people go on average is at 5 a.m. Still pretty short, right? On 4.2 miles as opposed to 2.4 miles, but fine. Okay, so that's kind of nice, right? And I can group by actually any different thing that I might want. For example, let's do day of week. So I can say df of day, oh, let's do day name. Because if I say df uh, tpep.dt.day name, and that's actually a method. So I actually have to call it. So what I can do is say df of day name equals that, and now I can group by that. That's pretty great. I can say df group by day name, and we'll say here trip distance, and we'll say mean. So on which day of the week do people travel the furthest on average? And well, it's actually pretty similar, right? But I can once again do my sort values. And we find out that they go the least distance on average on Saturdays and the greatest distance on average on Sundays, although it's not really that different, right? It's 2.6 to 2.9 miles, not that big of a difference. Okay, but, 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 what if I didn't have to create these new columns? What if I could do all this without the new column? I could say here, df group by of df tpep, dot dt, dot hour. I can just group by directly on that. And then just say trip distance dot mean. And it works. So you don't have to create a new column, which adds memory, adds computation, adds all sorts of stuff. You can just very simply do it directly on any accessor or anything that you get back from that DT accessor. So I can do it on the hour. I can do it on day, uh, day name. And here we go. I'm going to grab that and we're going to get the average amount, average distances traveled per day of the week. All right. This is just scratching the surface of what we can do with grouping and what we can do with days and times in Python. 
Come back to this channel for much, much more on these topics in the near future. Meanwhile, you can always grab me on Twitter and see all the things I'm tweeting about, including answers to questions I get in my corporate training. And of course, my free weekly Better Developers newsletter, currently read by more than 25,000 people a week. Get it at betterdevelopersweekly.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back really soon with plenty more Python and Pandas tips.